But if you are not yet satisfied like I am not, watch onwards and see where option 2 takes me. So, are you ready to take it up a notch? Hey there, this is Handyman007 and welcome to another installment of my budget home office series where I share with you my journey in setting up my ideal home office on a budget. Hopefully, you'll pick up some ideas on how you can achieve your own ideal home office setup. And in this episode, I want to solve the issue why I get tired too quickly after spending only a few hours in front of my laptop. And after analyzing what's happening, I realized that one of the causes is my laptop small screen. Another cause is the screen being too far below my eye level. And this is why I often find myself hunching while squinting, especially when I'm reading my email or editing my videos for hours and hours. This also gave me frequent headaches because I constantly had to exert more effort to properly see what I needed to see. Years ago, I started using a laptop stand to increase the height of my screen. This specific one, which I think I bought for 150 pesos, was able to increase my screen by a fixed height of 3 inches. For a while, this helped a bit and minimized heat buildup underneath the laptop. However, recently I started feeling discomfort on my hands, fingers, and wrists whenever I needed to type something. Because the downside of using a stand is that it sets the laptop's keyboard at a steep angle and thereby forcing my wrists to stretch unnaturally to the same awkward angle. And I think this prolonged and strained hand and wrist position is one of the common causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. Obviously, I don't want to end up with that condition. And so, to restore the natural angle of my hands and wrists, I connected an external keyboard that lays flat on the table along with my optical mouse. This Bad Wolf mechanical keyboard, which I bought for 850 pesos, has the ideal spread and size of keys that comfortably accommodates the curvature of my hands and fingers. Now, I'm a fluent touch typist, which means I can type an average of 62 words per minute using all of my fingers and without glancing at the keyboard. However, its multicolored and adjustable backlight is still a welcome feature for most, especially when, for example, you need to switch off the room lights at night because it's sleeping time for the rest of the family. At the very least, the keyboard lights does improve the ambiance of my work area and along with that, my mental well-being. However, adding an external keyboard presented a new problem for me. It has taken a lot of space in front of the laptop that I ended up with very little table surface to rest my hands on. And everything started to feel so cramped. So what I did was to move my laptop to the right corner of the desk so I can push the external keyboard forward. And at this point, I wasn't too happy anymore with the 3 inches of added height my laptop stand could give. So I went online and purchased this ergonomic cooling pad for 400 pesos. What I love about it is that it has an adjustable height all the way up to 7 inches. And of course, its USB power dual fans can more actively keep my laptop within normal temperatures, especially during very hot days. So let me do a quick transfer. And I will keep this old stand in my laptop bag so whenever I need to work outside, I always have a portable stand with me. And this is even the perfect time to use this gaming mat that came free with a recent purchase I made. Does everything look and feel much better now? Oh, by the way, before I forget, I only have two USB ports on my laptop and good thing I had this 4-port USB hub lying around. And if I remember correctly, I think I bought this one for 150 pesos about 5 years ago. It even has independent switches per port. So now, I can connect the external keyboard, the cooling pad, my optical mouse, and other USB devices like my headset and condenser microphone all at the same time. While a USB hub multiplies the number of USB ports you have on your laptop or PC, keep in mind that it usually divides the output power of the main USB. But I'll focus more on power and cables in a future budget home office video. Anyway, if you do have enough USB ports on your laptop to begin with, you shouldn't need to use a USB hub. So now, with this new configuration, the laptop screen is almost at my eye level and I can type more relaxed on the external keyboard. With this option 1, I spent a total of 1,250 pesos. If you are already satisfied with this setup, 
you may now leave this video because that's that. But if you are not yet satisfied like I am not, watch onwards and see where option 2 takes me. So, are you ready to take it up a notch? While option 1 partially solved my displays lack of height, I still need to squint just to read on my laptop's small 14-inch screen. And by moving it to the far right corner, the screen has now become even smaller from where I'm sitting. Speaking of sitting, check out my previous video where I shared my recommended type of home office chair and even showed how to properly clean and restore one. Links in the description below. Anyway, to finally address my small screen issue, I purchased a 21.5 inch Envision IPS LCD monitor with a 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution. IPS monitors or in-plane switching monitors leverage liquid crystals aligned in parallel to produce rich colors. In plain English, IPS monitors deliver color accuracy and consistency from any viewing angle. Also, from my research, I learned that working on a screen size of 21 inches to 30 inches can drastically improve my productivity. In case you're curious, right here is the complete specs of this Envision IP22V1 model. I'm also particularly interested about its weight and size because these will be important when we get to option 3 later in this video. For now, let's take a look at the back of this monitor. On this side is the buttons panel for power and various settings. I already mounted its snap-on stand here. While the monitor can be connected either by HDMI or VGA, it only comes with an HDMI cable. But my laptop only has a VGA port. Thankfully, a good friend of mine gave me his extra VGA cable. Also, this monitor is VESA compliant, which got me really excited. I'll explain what VESA compliant means when we get to option 3 later. Because of its size and stand, the top edge of this monitor is almost equal to the top edge of my laptop. This makes both of them just 2-3 to three inches below my eye level, which is almost ideal from an ergonomics perspective. For now, let me move this into position. So after spending a few minutes reconfiguring my display settings in Windows 10, my big monitor is now my main display and I can toggle my laptop screen as my duplicate or extended display. With this option too, I spent an additional 3,900 pesos for an LCD monitor. But there's still a catch, which led me farther to option 3. I found the monitor stand a bit unstable for my comfort. If someone accidentally bumps against the table hard enough or in case of an earthquake, I fear that my 3,900 peso monitor will end up shattered on the floor. Also, the feet of the stand has taken over the little space I had regained from moving the laptop to the side, which kind of brings me back to square one. I can overlap the keyboard onto the feet, but it feels a bit disorienting when I type. So let's move out of here for a moment so I can show you option 3. And option 3 is a monitor mount. This loop alloy single arm monitor mount has an adjustable arm that can finally allow me to raise the top edge of my monitor exactly at my eye level, which is the ideal ergonomic display height. I can attach the arm to my desk either by a C-clamp or a grommet clamp, which in turn will hold my monitor with absolute stability. With this mount, it would take the entire table to collapse before my monitor will collapse. Here are the full features of this model and best of all, its bracket plate is also VESA compliant. VESA stands for Video Electronic Standards Association and a VESA mount is a standard for mounting flat panel monitors, televisions, and other displays to stands or wall mounts. It's essentially having a uniform size and distance for mounting holes at the back side of video displays across different brands and models. I bought this online for 890 pesos and was so delighted about the quality and user-friendliness of this product that I felt it deserves a separate product unboxing, installation, and review video of its own, which I will upload soon. For now, suffice to say that it has done its job remarkably well. Not only has it helped me set up my main display ergonomically, but also allowed me to recover much needed desktop space.
Meanwhile, you might have noticed that with additional equipment on my home office desk, there's a whole lot more cables. I agree that they are unsightly, which is the perfect segue to give you the heads up on my next big home DIY project, a custom-made home office ergonomic desk. So if you have it already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first about my next videos. And so with option 3, I spent a total of 6,040 pesos. Sounds a bit pricey? On the contrary, in exchange for increasing my productivity, taking care of my eyes better, correcting my body posture, avoiding carpal tunnel syndrome, and improving my overall physical and mental well-being, I'd say it's money well spent. <laughs> 